Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a leader to have in Christine. How about it, Christine? So it's an honor for me to be here as your governor. As Christine mentioned, last year I was here as a candidate, and by God, we did it together, so thank you. But I have to tell you, celebrations like this are, are incredibly important because now, more than ever, we have to be celebrating diversity in Wisconsin. And this is not just in the urban areas of the state, it's the Abbotsford, it's the Arcadians, it's the, it's the Baldwin, Woodville areas of the state. It's all over the state of Wisconsin, and it's time to not only celebrate that diversity, but to put it into action for the better of all Wisconsin life. So events like this are a good reminder of what we're all working forward towards, but it also is a reminder about how much more we have to do, and that video just showed you that. Now my job in Wisconsin is to make sure that uh, that this, this, what we're working for, works for everybody, putting people first and connecting the dots so that we make sure that everybody has the tools and opportunities they, they need in order to succeed. It's about connecting the dots between, athletic, between a lack of affordable housing and the kids' performance in the classroom and their opportunities for future success. It's about seeing the connection between affordable health care and child care and employment opportunities for working parents and how that impacts the financial and physical well-being of Wisconsin families. It's about making sure that uh, we have all hands on deck so that no matter who you are or where you live in our state, you have the tools you need to succeed and to thrive. One large part of that connection Christine mentioned that to you, that we need to make sure that everybody has the opportunity in this state to get a driver's license to go from point A to point B. Right. And it's not only, it makes our roads safer, clearly that's important, but it opens up opportunities for families, but it also is a clear signal that no matter your immigration status, do you call Wisconsin home? You're a Wisconsinite. You see me and your kids go to Wisconsin schools and call Wisconsin home. They're Wisconsinites, and they shouldn't have to pay more for college tuition. They should be treated like any other kid from Wisconsin as they strive to make sure that they are able to achieve their educational and career goals. So that's how we need to connect those to the dots for the state of Wisconsin. Wisconsin has been lifted up by the talents of the Hispanic communities all across the state. So even though we've got a long way to go, I know the people in this room will continue to fight with me. We can't stop fighting for our priorities and standing up to hate. And we see that coming, especially from the highest level, level of our government. We're going to keep working to ensure that Wisconsin is a place where everyone is welcome. And it won't be easy, but we have a lot of work to do ahead of us. One of the most important things that we have to do going forward, in addition to the issues that uh, Christine mentioned and I mentioned around driver's licenses and making sure that uh, our kids are able to go to college with regular state in-state tuition, is the issue of the census. We have to organize around this. The, the, the idea that our, our national government continues to put up roadblocks in this issue just makes me and I know you more um, invigorated to take this on. We have to have a good census. We have to have people feeling confident that they are being counted and we have to work together to make that happen. So even though we've had some successes and I, I frankly believe that uh, Mandela and my uh, election were a part of that success, but we have a whole long way to go, folks, and we have lots of lots of issues to deal with. Uh, you know, for example, uh, simple things like universal background checks and uh, making sure that making sure 
that people that uh, are troubled emotionally and have made threats and have their uh, have a judge remove their guns for a temporary point of view. 80% of the people in Wisconsin support that. I'll bet you at least 80% of the people in this room support that. But the Republican legislature is ready to gavel in and gavel out without having one vote on each of these issues. So that's where we're up against. We have to hold our politicians accountable if we want to move forward. So I want to thank you for all you're doing. We have a long way to go, but I'm with you every, every step of the way. Thank you.